What's up everybody, hope you're all having a great day. Back at it again with another tutorial video. Today we'll be covering slideshows and how to make them. So let's go take a look at our example, huh? So as you can see, it's looping through the images. It's set on a three second timer. We can adjust that. Without further ado, let's take a look at how to do this. All right, so here, let's get rid of this. Here's our object. It's just a cube and it has an empty object inside of it. So we're gonna copy this cube just to make our lives a little easier and bring it to where we want it. Let's say right here, resize it a bit. Good enough. All right, since I copied this, we're just gonna delete everything inside of it. So we remake it from scratch. So here's our basic cube. First thing we're gonna to need to do is add an udon behavior. And let's create an empty object and also add an udon behavior to that. Back at the cube, slideshow one, we need to add the program source. This program source is already made in the SDK and it's event on timer. Send event on timer, I'm sorry. That's what we'll be using. And we're gonna be sending it to, let's rename this before we do that. And we call this material change, or So let's go back to the slideshow, type in material changer. There we go. Our event name is gonna be change material with a capital M. And we're gonna do it on a five second loop. Okay, let's look at our material changer. The Udon script for this is again already made and it's called change material on event. And we want the mesh render to be our slideshow one. We want five materials or five images and then we apply those. We're gonna do poster two through seven. So yeah, we'll apply those materials here and we're gonna do two through seven. All right, so let's apply those. Oop, clicked off of it. Okay, so this should be set up correctly. So we're gonna hit play and see how it works. Uh, okay, we actually named our event name wrong here. That's why it wasn't playing. I was wondering what was going on there. 
let's call this, this supposed to be a lower C. Change material. Let's try that again. It should start right about now. There we go. Now it looks like it's on that five second loop as where the back one's on a three second loop. Perfect. That's working as we want it to. So simple as that, just two objects, a cube and an empty game object. If you were able to follow these steps and reproduce this and have it working in your world, be sure to throw me a like and subscribe if it doesn't hurt you too much. And if you had any issues, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to help you out. As always, guys, hope you have a great day and catch you next time.